And Aloha. we're live. Aloha, everybody. Hey. I am Krista Ralaxmi Ditten. And I'm Michael Ditten. And we are Infinite Activation. And we're coming to you from Big Island, Hawaii. And today is the day we are starting our new challenge for five days. Five day, a live challenge. And today we're going to talk a little bit about how to identify and isolate limiting beliefs. So, um, I'm going to first start by welcoming you, saying thank you very much for showing up. And if um, if you haven't registered, there's going to be a link in the body of this. You can go register, and that way you'll make sure that you can get uh, copies of the support material. Today's is going to be a little workshop uh, worksheet about beliefs, conscious and unconscious. So, uh, so aloha, Ive, Everett, Levi. Very yeah, nice to have yeah, you Yeah, yeah, great so. to have all. So the very basic, um, if you want to start to do any kind of manifestation, is basically to think of the creation formula. And the creation formula actually starts with our thoughts and then our words and our actions. Right. And oftentimes in our lives, we get into autopilot where basically many of these thoughts or beliefs are actually driving us because we are not really conscious. And some of these are even subconsciously driving us. So our mission with these lives is actually also point to those different details, what you can kind of go through and start to change and kind of start to think through so that you can start to change your uh, creation formula so if we take um, a computer and you have a program which has been running for a certain way it will s certainly continue to run the certain way unless you, you make a change and yeah. the change is to either delete the old program or reprogram what you have Okay, so we have layers. We have the conscious and then we have the subconscious. Right. So to identify the conscious non like working programs or beliefs or thoughts is pretty easy. Like if you don't manage to do it yourself, you can ask someone in your family or loved one to give you feedback. Uh, the most difficult part is to figure out those unconscious beliefs which are still running. Right. One of the examples from my life is when I was growing up, I had a constant kind of um, projection on me and also the belief that I'm not enough or I don't have enough. So what happened, it turned into my subconscious belief and um, actually... Uh, continue to create a reality from that point of view. So um, in order for me to completely change that around, I had to, first of all, become really aware that this is my uh, old program, which is not serving me anymore. So I have to change this one so that I can, you know, start to create a new program or reprogram the old program. And this may seem very simple, but one little change and just awareness that you are aware that this is not working and this is popping up will um, help you to change it. Because once you are aware of something which is not working, it actually can't exist anymore. Like from the anthropological point of view, once you start to focus on something or observe something, it will change. And kind of also with the car, you know, if you put your car into cruise control, you know, it goes cruise control until you change it. Yep. So in your life too, do you want to drive on autopilot or would you like to start to create the life on your terms? Yeah. So, and, and that's where also you'll want to identify the conscious and subconscious. So the conscious would be something you're doing repetitively and you're not getting the result that you want. So you you become, you know, aware of that. You make a change. And when you make that change, something different will happen, good or bad. Um, then you can decide whether that result is what you want. And if it is, great. If not, you make another change. The subconscious that she, she was referring to, and had she not uh, become aware of it, it could have driven her life. But it was somebody else that had planted this in her. And as a child, she didn't really... She didn't really understand that. She didn't know, know that. It. Yeah, she didn't know that this was happening. But as she grew older and realized that there was a pattern or something that was going on, and she reflected back on it, when she did, she realized 
you know, that's what I was told when I was younger. That doesn't necessarily mean what's happening today. So we are very, very happy that there are so many people joining today. I see Heli, Christina, Aladrino, Birgit. Um, aloha to all of you. Yeah, Ulle, hi guys. Riley, Ive. And if you think this topic is really, you know, resonating with you, give us thumbs up. And yeah. if you have some questions, um, just shoot those um, here right now or later. Um, so we will be very excited to hear about your journey. Yeah. And we, we you know, I, I was pretty fortunate that I kind of, you know, was driven and I did things on, on my own. I, I beat my own drum through life. But I was often told that if I wanted more, you know, sometimes somebody that was jealous of what I was doing or what I had or wanted to have, or if somebody believed that it was above and beyond um, uh, their expectations, then it was above and beyond my expectations. And, you know, if you allow people to uh, project it upon you, then it could certainly affect you. Uh, but I don't believe that way. I don't work that way. So, for example, when I decided that I wanted to take off and sail around the world and enjoy life and see what the world had to offer, that was my belief. Even though people told me I was crazy for doing it, cutting lines from you know family and friends, you know, not living the societal norm, I decided that's what I wanted. So don't allow yourself or anybody else to give you uh, limiting beliefs or limiting abilities. Uh, choose for yourself what it is you want to do. Um, if you haven't registered, uh, there's a link there. Go register. You'll get access to the, the past worksheets and all the worksheets for the other four days. But you can write down what those limiting beliefs are, and there's going to be some steps that will help you change those as well. Yeah, finalize a thought about um, I'm not enough because many of you may still struggle with that is in some ways, um, it was a good motivation for me to actually start to prove to the world that I am enough in so many ways. But after some time, first you will basically run out of steam and this is not the way to live. Like you shouldn't live or do whatever you do in order to prove that you are worth or do you, you are enough. So each one of us is enough as we are and we are here to actually, you know, live our lives fully and fulfill our dreams and, you know, thrive. We are not here to survive. And this is why we call it also abundance challenge so that all of us will go through more deeply and consciously. What are those um, different things which are challenging me to actually thrive and live my dreams on my challenge. terms? The reason we have named this challenge abundance challenge most people will have a singular thought process when we mention abundance and they think of monetary money is abundance but there's so much more than that um you know family friends life time travel all these things you know there's an abundance of abundance okay and if you have any limiting beliefs or you have a blockage in one particular area, it is going to affect your overall holistic abundance. So that's why we call it Abundance Challenge. All the things that we're going to be sharing with you and teaching will help increase or amplify your holistic abundance. Yeah, so today uh, the session is about like kind of going into your inner garden and taking out the words or beliefs, uh, weeds in your garden, which are not really serving you anymore. Okay, so we're going to wrap today up and we're going to once again thank all of you for showing up. There's a whole bunch more that showed up that we haven't uh, mentioned yet, but thank you very much. We appreciate you taking the time. We have a lot more to share with you over the next few days. And aloha. Aloha, aloha, aloha Maire, there. Andrea, yeah. um, Marlies, Aino, yeah. aloha. Everyone. So tomorrow we're going to talk uh, a little bit about the lack of having in the past, which is kind of going to, it's a continuation of today. So And also how to become the captain of your own lifeboat. Absolutely. That's absolutely. so fun. Like we have sailor backgrounds and uh, we can use that in life too. Yeah. So one last time, thank you very much. Um, if you didn't register, go ahead and go register to make sure that you get the um, this worksheet along with the ones that are coming. And we will see you guys tomorrow for challenge number two. And please share this information and video, whoever you feel would really um, get inspired and need it as well. Absolutely. Okay, mahalo. Mahalo. Lots of aloha. Aloha.